Okay, so I didn't talk here, so I'm basically going to explain what I'm doing. I'm just writing what what the first way is, which is making a character. So you're basically just designing your own character, and that's just the way that I'm showing you on how to fill a sketchbook. I just didn't talk through it. So here you go. So um, I'm just drawing a character that I did, which I'll explain later. So bye. So, I kind of already have another character that I drew on a separate page, which I'll show you in a little bit. And I I just had, I just looked at a Pinterest photo, and it, was of, and it was like of a pose where she was putting her weight on one side, and I wanted to do that. So, I drew that, but with, diff but, um, with a different character, and then I just came up with this character, and I think it's over, her outfit's really cute, and it was actually one that, yeah. She's pretty much a basic, she's basic girl, which, now that I'm saying that out loud, I'm thinking, making her a really basic girl, so she's gonna be one of, like, those basic girls. Not, like, anything mean, but, like, like that trend that's been going around, where it was, like, oh, like, be a visco girl, that's what I'm thinking of making her, so I might draw her in some other basic girl outfits you can say after this one I don't think I'm, I'm not feeling a full body thing so I'm just gonna have her fade off. Like that. So, since my last video, I think I've kind of figured out how to draw lips just a little bit better. Like, they're still not good, but they're better than what they were, so, I, I don't know. Okay, now, I'm done with this one, it's not very good for the sketch, but, um, I'm gonna try to draw her in an oversized t-shirt. So... I don't really have a story for her. I really just made her up today. Like the day I'm filming this. I don't really want her to have that big. I'm really bad with drawing feet too. I usually don't draw feet, which would explain why I'm not very good at them, but... I can lighten the sketch up to lose some of the lines, just clean it up a bit. I don't know if it's just that I have like a hard meter eraser, like it's like sometimes it can be really soft but sometimes it's like harder to work with I mean it does the job but okay now I'm gonna draw these lines for arms and then 
gonna add in this shirt. So. And then I'm gonna clean this up. Let's do like lots of these eyes. Check up the Birkenstocks. thinking well actually no I want to draw her holding I want to ask something I want to have her holding a hydro flask because you know that's like something her character would do and I was thinking for her story so everything would kind of be off brand if I were to come up with a story I usually don't go very far with stories so I was thinking for her story it would be like she's this really trendy girl like she's popular and everything but at home she doesn't have that good I mean, she has a good life but she's not financially rich she hasn't had a lot of money so she th she thrifts things which makes her be like oh like oh like I'm one of those girls that thrifts and then everything she gets is off brand but she's super creative that's kind of where I'm thinking her story may go. So this is a good way to fill up your sketchbook because it fills up a whole page if you really try to get to know your character. And your... So you could see how I went from just like, oh, just, just like really like just casual, basic, kind of just random person you would draw to like how I'm starting to come up with a story for her. So this is good because it fills up the page because you can see this page is not empty anymore. You can really go all out for this and write down her story. I might even write, I might even like draw what she like represents. So maybe like, like a lot of money and go like that. And I would say like is not available. So one of those red, red circle things. Is she popular? So maybe, so maybe I could even design one of her friends. Like I think she'd be in like a big group. And really only her closest friends know about her money thing. But everyone else kind of assumes. Or maybe she's a really transparent and she tells everyone like, oh yeah, like I thrift these, like, or like, yeah, I don't want to get like an actual on brand. So let's draw say that she has a lot of friends. Just and I could go really far with this and create all these new kind of friends, which would just um, it would just add help you fill up your sketchbook. I guess that's just the whole point. So the next thing you could do if we just flip the page over here is um so jobs. So you can draw um I did you draw jobs. So let's say the job is a pol police. So you have you can draw a police per person. 
So first you could draw like basic police person just standing there. And then So just some really quick rough sketches. So let's make a guy because I don't really draw guys that much. Yeah. Those mustaches that like a lot of policemen have, like in cartoons and stuff. Okay, so I have a basic rundown of a police person. So this on its own could just help with like inspiration for what for what to do. But then you could go even further. You could draw him in like a pose where let's say he has to pull up his gun. So you could draw and that would help you draw with drawing more poses. Okay, I warn you that the next few sketches are really bad. So good luck with that. You could even draw a robber too to go with a policeman. You could go so far with it. So maybe they're up against a wall, of some sort. So he's just hold his hands up in the air. I don't really have a reference, so I'm kind of just that doesn't really look great. But you you see you see where I'm going with this. I don't know where I'm going with this, but you could draw that, and this could be part, of, you could mix it, you could make it part of a character design too, but actually you kind of like this guy, you might draw him more, who knows. Fun fact, I did draw a picture of him, and I'm going to insert the picture right now. Okay, now back to our scheduled programming. So, uh, we could draw a... That's maybe a gymnastics teacher, and she teaches people how to do gymnastics. So maybe she's standing there, and she's holding a girl, little girl's legs up because she's doing a handstand. So this would just help you, like, creatively think instead of drawing um, a pretty girl standing in the middle of your sketchbook. You're drawing a woman who maybe has her, let's say she has her hair in a bun, right? And she's, she trying like she's doing something because it's her job you get the idea this is what we're looking at but. but speaking about actually doing things this is on to our third thing number three verbs actions i did not spell like verbs right Verb. <laughs> I love spelling. Love words. Or actions. So, let's say. Running. You can draw the flash if you want to. And we're back to the black screen again. And that's because I need to warn you. These sketches are also really bad. I didn't try very hard. They're literally scribbles. Um, enjoy. Does that person look like they're running? Who knows? And you could do these really quick too. Uh, we could do someone drawing, I mean, eating ice cream. You could obviously use references for these, and um, instead of just trying to come up with it on your own, you could do the actions with other people. So it's like someone's taking care of a baby, like maybe feeding a baby, uh, running with someone. Uh, I'm totally not blanking here. You could do. Catching someone before they fall. Yes, yes, great save. So even though the sketches aren't that good, I hope 
you liked the tips and that the tips were good. So here they are. So the jobs, the verbs, and the character design. And here's my character from before. Who knows if she'll get a name. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. Bye.